Go for it. Death is in the room. <laughs> Deathless is in the room, actually. Hey everyone, this is Dean. We came back in here today. We're having a look at Devil's RPG for the third time. Yeah, third time. Now you're really wondering why did I keep on playing this game and not play many other RPGs that can be played that that you haven't had looked at. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a new, I mean, let's be real here. There's a new look. Oh, and my girlfriend burped. <laughs> and that's that's also why. I mean, so yeah. So today we're having a look at this game and just seeing how the seeing what's new here. So first thing. Is yeah, they can still see you. Don't worry. So, yeah, today we're having a look at this game and seeing how far we can get. And, uh, yeah, um, let's just see what, what, what we can get. So, we're coming at 256 right now. And we're probably going to get, we'll probably, probably have a lot more levels to go through. So, let's get to it. Uh, what is this? My, oh, my God. What, what the heck? we got a lot of people who joined me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> my bro here just joined the game. How the heck does that happen? Oh, my Lord. The developer just, the developer just joined while I was making a video. She's, dude. And, my girlfriend's made my video, and my, and also the developer. Oh my <laughs> god, aren't you? Isn't that crazy? This is just insane. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So yeah, I did live, so yeah, Coast did a live stream in this game a couple... Mushroom heads. Yes. Coast did, did do a live stream in this couple, a couple of years ago, and yeah. Oh my lord, you're crazy. Y'all are crazy, Mushrooms. So. They turn into balls. Yep, they, I think all of them turn into balls at this point, so. Yeah, we're just gonna be playing this game and seeing how far we can get, and yeah. Um, guys, want to tell you, well, guys want to have more, guys want to see more videos like this, and please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell, be awesome in this video. That being said, I'm Brian, so, yeah, I am ready to get, get started, I am ready to get started. So, yeah, um, this is, a uh, so, I, so, I had a look at Coast's stream, I kind of got a little spoilers, I apologize in advance, but then again, um, but I gotta say, though, the game is a lot better than what it looked like earlier, so, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess, I mean. I remember watching you guys play this game. Huh? I remember watching you guys play this game. Yeah, exactly. Remember and all that mm -hmm. stuff. What's this? That's just what they're Unfortunately, it's just... all right. So it's like a dagger. It's a dagger. We dragon and dagger. We dagger and dragon. So yeah, um, pretty much. Anyways, uh, <laughs> over here, a developer here. No, the developer is no. I'm doing. I've been doing three videos in in a week. That's insane. Oh my goodness. So yeah, not sure why. I just felt like it'd be pretty cool. Um, Try yeah. climbing one of the mushrooms. I already tried to climb one of my friends, so yeah. Um, Dark Lunium, that's cool. So yeah, um, we're just gonna play and see what we get, so yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, so yeah. You got three traitors on your back. You got some fungus monsters right there. They're funging annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I mean, then again, let's be rare. Yeah, that happened at some point. What are you? Mushroom Shop. Okay, oh man, <laughs> ever since. Mushroom Shop. Okay, ever since, uh, ever since, um, I'm actually happy that Blaze Armor, huh, what this does. Um, uh, oh my lord, oh my lord, I thought you, oh my god, now this is a Beat of the King 16 thing you never expected. Hell yeah. Yeah, let's go, so yeah. Anyways. One hit? Yeah, one hit, so yeah. I kind of, I'm probably going to be doing a couple, I'm probably just going to make just a short video, not like the long video we made, me and Coast made. Um, though, I will say that we had a lot of fun and stuff, so, yeah, Coast, I think, really enjoyed the video. Uh, Sam, the developer, the developer, I had a lot of fun, so, yeah, I gotta say, it was, uh, it was fun making videos and stuff, so, but, far from that, um, though I do, though I, I really want to say, I don't, I, as much as I love making videos, there was something that I kind of wanted to talk about for a while now, and I feel like I should, do, I kind of, I feel like, you may be wondering, like, why haven't I, I been posting as much as I used to be anymore? I mean, Sure, I mean you don't really, you post you don't you don't really post as much, but I kind of stopped because I felt like well, let's be real here. I mean I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real honest. Um, and if I'm, if I'm a girlfriend, can actually agree with me on this one. But I tend to I tend to have a lot more of a better passion with developing. That, that that's it, that's it honestly. Yeah. Exactly. So and personally, like and don't get me wrong, I love making videos for people to make and making RPG reviews, and it's pretty cool. I mean I I really do. It's actually probably one of my favorite things I've done for a while now. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of RPG reviews. Most of my game, most of my videos are RPG reviews or RPG tutorials or whatever. Most of my, most of my content I made it was has always been RPG tutorials. I haven't really, really, I have made I've made them all the way back in like 2018 or something like that. Like that was my first RPG tutorial I made. It's like how to make a starter mod and stuff. And yeah, ever since then I I kind of moved away from RPGs then and then I came back to them in 2021 and made my made my content mainly that. So yeah, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. So. Yep, pretty much. 
Also, yeah, I really, I mean, I had a, I had a talk with uh, the developer, and he said that, yeah, personally, I think we should develop games more. I mean, I, I mean, that's why. I mean, personally, like, yeah, you, you I personally do what makes you happy, and that's, a, that's, a, that's a general life, that's a general life thing in general. So, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying, man? Like, I mean, let's be real here. I mean, I, would you rather have a life that? Would you rather be on YouTube? Let, here, here's the thing. Like, let me tell you about this. Like. Life is short, you know? I'm, I'm gonna be real honest. Life is short. I, I hate to say it, but that's the truth, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, and I hate, and I know, I, I don't like to be pessimistic and stuff, but that's because. Much better to create your own games and be able to grind on your games than always having to rely on someone else's. Yeah, you're not wrong, but, and there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with grinding our games, personally. Like, I kind of, I find that I found inspiration. If anything, like, I, I kind of I kind of got started. I think that my girlfriend kind of got me back into game development because she she told she told me she kind of she kind of pep talked me into it and oh my god I just feel yeah, so baby. helpful. So yeah, but then again it's like I I just I feel like that if we that if you have that if you don't I feel like that if you don't like I just feel like that if you don't take life if you don't if you don't you do what you want to do in life then you. You're probably just gonna miss out because at some point we're all gonna get busy and we're all gonna be distracted by work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just how life is. You know, like that's why I've been using using all this time to work on games and not well, not publish them. Your work but, is me. Okay. <laughs> I'm a handful. Yes, but you, you get the point. <laughs> it's it's kind of well, I'm trying to say like the game like there's more to life than just work. Like you can like have fun, learn lessons, live, learn. I'm your fun type of work. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> You're not wrong, so, I mean, yeah. And, like, like, this is what I've been saying, like, like, it's just, it's been really, um, and that's basically where I've been, trying to figure out if, trying to figure out where I'm, where I stand at, you know? And I've, I've always had this debate on, on being, on YouTube versus development. I've always had that debate since, like, 2021 when I first started Night Lordian. Like, I've always had that debate, like, it's always been that way. And I've been, and a lot of people suggest to me, like, well, if you like YouTube and development so much, then why don't you actually make a... Why don't you make a developer channel? And a developer channel I have made. And that's just that has been pretty going pretty well. And I do plan to do more content on that channel because and also develop tutorials on this channel as well. So but well it's just there's a there's just a lot of there's just and there's just I tend I just tend to be more at my best when I'm creating games rather than playing them. And I'm not and I no not I will I, I, that's why I was noticed at least so And it makes total sense. Yeah. Because you see, I like I like looking, listening to stories and stuff. But when you create a story, that's when the tr true fun begins. We had to start to create a story. Hey, take it from a story writer right here. Yeah, she's wrote so many stories and and all that stuff. And I personally, I think RPG games as a whole, um, there's a lot of ways you can tell a story. And RPG games are just one of them. Like, um, hey, you know, I might make a story based off of one of your RPGs. Really? Mhm. Mm well, then, I'll, what type? What game was it? Would it be? Nylodian. Okay. I like your stubby story cover on that. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't know, like, about the lore about Nylodian and stuff, the lore about Nylodian is that it's actually the first game, it's actually in chrono chronological order. Nylodian is the first game in chronological order. And I like your story based on it. Yeah, like, it's about... Like, what do you think it's about? Knights. Knights, okay. It's a, you are my knight, so... It's, a, it's not only about knights, it's also about, like... The corruption in the world is just like the corruption in the world, and it, the types of corruption in the world. And you're trying, and it, every empire shows the corruption in, in the world. Like, for example, Night Lordian, Night Land tells about the story about government corruption. Um, the corrupt, the um, Trojanville talks about corruption in the um, talks about cor talks about corruption in the uh, in the like what do you call it? it talks about corruption in, of like invasive species like us humans. I mean, I, I mean, let's. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, but not, I don't want to say we're. I mean, I want. I want. Like, no, I'm not talking about that type of culture. I'm talking about like, I mean, we do need places to live, but like, we have, but a lot of people. But you know, one thing that doesn't need to live here. What? Snail eggs. Yeah. Does it? Well, it's, I don't think it's snail eggs, but they're like little pink eggs that that hatch on trees. Yeah, I get that. They so. Kill farm animals. Yeah. Yeah. But those are invasive species. Yeah, the truth is that, like, there's a lot of... And that's how I've been telling my stories about. And a lot of RPG games and talk, but don't really think about lore. Like, okay, I know this might seem, this might seem far-fetched, and a lot of people are probably going to be like, what are you talking about? But I play RPG games for the lore, okay? 
Like if you don't get if you don't have lore, then I'm just saying then what's the point? Not much. I mean, I know a lot of RPG games. Some RPG games don't have lore, and it's just a fun game. I get that. I mean, I, I know, I, I know some RPG games like Mysterious RPG t is meant to be for fun and probably doesn't have lore. But then again, it's just like, I mean, like, like in RPG games, there's always gotta be a purpose, not just fighting games. Also, give me a second, and that's my alarm to work on that lore game. Um, I'll work on it after the video. So yeah, um, yeah, I do have an alarm to work on that lore in many our games. Great. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I will set myself, I set myself up for success, that's what I'm trying to try and do it, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm trying to remind myself about the goals I want in life, and long term, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, practice development, and make more projects, you know? And, I don't know, I've always kind of wanted to branch out from RPG games, but I kind of felt like RPG games have been my, go have been my, have been my dessert for the longest time. How sometimes making RPG games can take a... I don't know, it was just that, I don't know, it was just, I haven't really made much, I kind of had made, I made Obby at one point, but yeah, what's this, music? oh, that's cool, you can actually make, that's cool, do I actually have that, no I don't, it's a, it's a drop chance, damn bro, okay, moving on, but you get the point, I'm just trying, I'm one thing is that there are a lot of, there are a lot of games that, um, I feel like some people are willing to talk about this stuff, but like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure not many people are willing to talk about this stuff, considering it's like, it's like, considering like, it's, it's a, it's a kind of, it's a, it's a really, um, it's really um personal topic about stuff and um because people because people in life just don't seem to follow dreams as much as they want to because mushroom. they're like afraid you know what I'm saying? Mushroom. Yeah, I'll, this isn't much merry, you know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, so <laughs> that's where the joke came in. Yeah, pretty much. I, like I think everyone had to go for a job and at some point because we have an idea. I mean, write it down on paper and see what we can do about it. You know what I'm saying? I and mean, that's what I've been able to do with Nylordian and Zapix and all that stuff, so, yeah. And by the way, I kind of, and also Mistosic, um, which I've recently we went back to, I recently released, and you guys want to take a look at that game, take a look at it down below. Uh, not sponsored, but I thought I'd take a look, but I thought I'd just show you guys, I thought I'd just talk about it, so, just in case. But yeah, um, apart from that, there's really nothing else I had to say about that. It's just that in general, like, you, it, it just doesn't seem as, like, that's pretty much what I've been talking about, like, our, like, RPG game, I know RPG can be repetitive and stuff, and I get that, but I guess the reason why I haven't gone, really gone away from RPGs and teaming that can be repetitive is because I just, it's the lore, it's, lore is interesting to me, I mean, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of RPG lore, it's like, oh, RPG, all, all the RPG lore is, is just making, a story about it. No, RPG lore, all the RPG lore is about is that there's this big bad that tries to take over the world and boom, it's done, and you fight him and you're pretty done. End of story. Sometimes it's the best part of the story. Yeah, I mean, different name, and I get that, I mean, RPG, and that's pretty much what RPG games are, I mean. But, sometimes you can... help you get a better story. Add lore to you, you can also add lore and stuff, like... I mean, basically all my stories. I made this story called the, um, Legend of the Dark Angel. Yeah. And... All it has is lore and witches, different types of witches, but I made up the name of the witches. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, uh, and that's why I kind of added, like, and that's so why... Typically they have regular students there who don't have powers. Yeah. Like normal mortals. Like... But then they have a mixture of them. Yeah, that's why I kind of, that's why I really like Coast Game, because despite all of the, despite all, all of the backsides of design stuff, I personally love it just because of lore. The lore is, like, it's... It's detailed, it has multiple timelines, it's, it has like, choose your side, choose your story, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And personally, that's something I kind of like about it. In it's my like, story, I think they had two, two, um, sets of lore in there. Yeah. One, one was in New Orleans and, no, one was some somewhere and the other one was in New Orleans. Yeah, so, pretty much. So they traveled. Exactly, so. But at the end of the day, that's just life, I mean, you gotta do, we, I mean... At the end of the day, I mean, it's like, there's something, some parts of media, where that be a music, music, videos, movies, shows, whatever. Any types of media you, you, you come across, it might have some type of story or theme or message. I, it's something that we've all learned back in high school, if you want to go into high school. Like in Twilight and, um, yeah. the originals and legacies, which are, legacies and the originals are linked in their, in their lore. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, no? And, it's, like, and um, Twilight has its own lore. That's just, that's what I'm saying, like, if, like, there's gotta be some reasoning as to what is going on in lore. I mean, sure, it some... It really fun and interesting to listen to and watch. 
Yeah, like because you you feel empathy for the characters when 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 they lose their significant other and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you feel empathy when the, when the hero of the thing is known to be dead, but she's still alive. Yeah. So at the end of the day, that's just really that's there's really nothing much I have to say about that. It's either it's, is it lore or not not fun really. I mean, that, everyone has their own opinions. So some people play for fun, some people play for grinding. Personally, I'm already pro, I'm a, I'm a deep thinker. I play for lore. That's all I am. I mean, don't get wrong. Uh, it's a don't get wrong. I like the game. I, I mean, don't get wrong. I like. I mean, I know it might seem crazy, but sort of like Sims. Yeah, I mean, I mean Sims. I mean, if you want to see lore, you have to take a look at Sims three, two, and one, or Sims one, two, and three. They have better lore than Sims four. <laughs> Sims four doesn't really have much lore in it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I kind of moved on from that game. I mean, don't get wrong, the game's great, but it's like, eh, not the best. So not much to do. Yeah, there's not really much to do. Like you. You you play go nightclubs you fight moms and you go you take you go fight your best friend's mom huh <laughs> as if you fight your best friend's mom yeah you fight your best friend's mom yeah it's pretty crazy also why is there a shop in the middle of nowhere <laughs> okay that's an interesting place to put a shop on okay oh wait that's a crafting area what the heck you in look the middle weird of nowhere. yeah and not an awesome entry it looks weird but yeah also I gotta say I like the new, the new textures it looks pretty cool um so good job to um, Triple I, I think that's what his name is. Uh, no. Triple I Stray. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know his name, mate. Okay. I'm just gonna point out there. I mean, his, I mean, yeah. So, he, yeah. Moms. I would also, if you're watching this, which I think you might be, I would really love to learn the lore about this game. If you have, if you really have, if you haven't thought about the lore, it would pre be pretty cool idea to think about the lore for the game because, personally, I think this game has some interesting storyline, I think, but. I would really, I don't really want, I, I don't want to, like, for example, like, what do you, like, why are these ice devils here, like, why are these ice demons here, like, do they, are they, like, 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 think about, like, are these ice demons, like, do they, are they invasive species, are they, are they people that are just trying to find, get their life back together, or are they just summoned by the boss, which, where's the boss, um, I am not seeing the boss anywhere, I think it's right, I'll, I'll bet you it's in there, oh no, I think it's right there, I think that's snowman right there. Um, yep. Oh, it's a Del Snowman. That's him. The evil snowman. Right. So, yeah. As you can tell, it's going to... He looks more cute than scary. Yeah, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> Give it a full body, you'll find for out why, why, why it looks like an evil snowman. So, yeah. Alright, so let's go and finish this guy off, and, you know, let's Wait, aside from the fact that the freaking thing is walking. Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, so I'm just Sweet, let's go. But, yeah. Um... Overall, I gotta say, like, it's... The lore, I gotta say, lore is why I play for RPGs. That's If you have lore, then I'll play it. But, I mean, if... That's, here's the, that's my, that's my, that's my big hint. That's, like, I mean, yeah, I'm, I do play for design too sometimes, but if they're, but I mainly play for lore. That's all I'm gonna say, honestly. Like, I know some people are gonna question me on that, like, why I play for lore and stuff, but... I mean, call me crazy, but that's just how I am. I mean, like I said, I am a deep thinker. <laughs> I think a lot of things. <laughs> I'm actually making I don't have my book with me that I'm writing the story with but I recently was make, previously was making a Vampire Diaries series of my own oh makes sense oh you did tell me that okay. yeah so... so it was basically the life of a wolf life of a vampire life of some witches that I know of alright so yeah um what do you say um wanna Let's turn Mr. Snowy into, um, cubes of ice. Yeah, pretty much so. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if he added cubes of ice as a, as a boss? That would be actually pretty nice. It, that, that's going to give me difficulty RPG bots, but then again, that's uh, something for another day. But yeah, anyways, um, there you have it. All right. Um, what do you say? You think we're done here? Yeah. All right, boys. All right, everyone. So, yeah, it was a quick, was, this was a bit of a quick video, but I thought I'd make it a quick, a, a kind of follow quick and make a third video and talk about about the about developing and in general just why why i've kind of why i've been kind of off and on and on youtube i mean I've been, i'm gonna be real honest with you i mean rp oh wow oh yeah i forgot they oh you can have oh so this is how you dodge you do have to dodge okay i actually did not know that until now huh i was <laughs> like i actually i actually i was I actually pressed I, pre, I was gonna press d box and press f so yeah, alright everyone, so I think it's part of you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, you guys, if you have any portion of the comments, please be sure to subscribe, I can't turn on the bell, it's not channel, but y'all, I'm going to miss you, 
in my posture comes in the future. Also, you can my girlfriend in the description below if you guys want to, or our collab channel, and then you can take a look at our channel too, if you want. I mean, whatever, up to you. But yeah, um, G was here, and uh, we're here as well. So have a good out. one, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, to stay tuned, guys, for uh, another video soon. See ya. I'm conquering the spirit